and Germany, please enter the list. Canada and Germany. Poland and Sweden, please prepare. Poland and Sweden, please prepare. So Team Canada coming out into the field. A lot of those shields you see that uh, black and green background with a white wolf in front. That's uh, the symbol of the Yukon team, the white wolf. So a lot of the fighters come from there. Yukon is it's pretty far from everywhere. So they come along this year. A lot of them were fighting last weekend as well at another tournament, Battle of the Nations. So a lot of them have already been through, through the ringer. These bikes will come from all over the world to be here to entertain you people. It's simply amazing. And the fact we've gone to Scotland this year has just been a dream come true for us in the Scottish Night League. We have the first champion fighter. <coughs> And you have both teams coming from Argentina and Chile and... Now, remember I told you about how we have to start all these nights from hugging each other all the time? This is what we're talking about. The phrase is, thugs and hugs. Thugs and hugs. And you're going to lose. So the fighters are nice and calm in there. They know what they're doing, they love what they're doing. They're fighting for the love of us. Occasionally fighters might get injured, but very rarely is anyone setting out to injure any other fighter. We want you to survive and fight again. And one, Canada versus Germany. 10 v 10s. There we go. And fight! It seems like both teams are more or less divided up into three groups. So a bit more cautious this time. We're not trying to steamroll like America did. We're going to just take the time, see where the gaps are, try and come through this. Like there's a runner just got through the back. And we're done the, the Germans only came out with nine fighters. And one of the Canadian fighters took a knee. So they were fighting them on an even, even footing. They didn't want to outnumber them. That's the sort of level of respect we're talking here about. Actually, they'll give themselves a disadvantage, so just to make it equal. Great level of oh, okay. uh, Canadian fight takes. Yeah, yeah. German down, but goes down with him. Back calendar, you're probably going to put too much of yourself into the charge. You'll go down too. So I'm seeing more German bodies on the field. But there's three Canadians in one corner, taking on three Germans. Two Canadians taking on five on the other side. And sometimes that's... Your so job can just be to set up damage. One or two people practice... One Canadian left standing, that fight is stopped. It's to Germany. And the German cheer goes up. And here we go. Cheer on, people! Canada versus Germany, round one. Or sorry, round two. You want German, two German fighters and wait in the middle to see what way the fight goes. Shiny Canadian thing going on. I think you're going to have a to see one German on the ground. I think everyone else is still up and standing. Oh, good on that man for stage three. Oh, there. Another Canadian team. Another German name as well, so I think it's still all even. It'll be hard to keep track. So some fighters, their job is just to tie up the others and just take damage, pin people down so that their other fighters can come along and start knocking people to the ground. I think this is still more or less all even. And most there's a... Uh, Maybe one person have a difference on either side. It's hard to see when there's bodies everywhere. That's another Canadian day in there though. Literally bodies everywhere. Okay, six Canadians up. Shining Chrome is there. Five Canadians up. Germans just standing there. A sneaky German's coming. Boom! They pushed him into the rail though. Good man to knock him to the ground. Yeah! That's another Canadian there, another one there. I think he's really starting to tell. 
I think there's only there's one juror, one player left standing in the final stop. Well done to Germany for taking the win. And well done to Canada for taking the punishment. I had a great performance as well that fight. They done quite a while. They could have gone either way at various different points. Sometimes a fight can it looked like it ends up being one side if you look at the final tally, but they can change on a, on a dime. Mm. It takes one person falling down and suddenly there can be a cascade when you've suddenly got superior numbers. Sweden, France and Finland, please prepare. France